hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so many times people have asked me how they will be able to link their ghana card to the binance that we've been making a lot of money from and here i am with this video to teach you all that you need to know the step-by-step -step guide as to how you can link your mobile money to your binance account which is very simple for anybody to do so it's just a guide that you follow these are steps that are easy for anybody to follow and once you are following these steps you'll be able to link your ghana card to your binance so what is the binance that we are talking about binance is just an exchange that people can go there buy their crypto and sell their crypto they can even trade on this application and then i have made several videos about how you can make money from this binance if you are new to my channel you should be getting to my videos or you go to my playlist then you find out several videos we have made about binance and how they can make you a lot of money every single day including the binance and binance launchpad and many other things even trading on p2p and trading on spot trading and then you'll be able to make a lot of money online if you have not yet created your account then go ahead and do that and you create your account on binance then you'll be able to make a lot of money online but in today's video i'm just settled on how you can link your ghana card to this binance that we'll be talking about so i have my binance over here. this is my binance app i'll just click on that and go into this application to teach you how you can do this so it's just few minutes thing that i'll be doing over here i'll not waste any time so before we continue let me just make this one clear so if you still do not have an account on binance you should go ahead and register an account is the simplest thing you can do on binance over here so the first thing is to click on this session we will be clicking on the link inside the video description now it's very simple over here you click on just create an account and it's easy for you to do so you just click on sign up and then you use your email address or your mobile number and it's easy they will just ask you to verify your identity and that's why it's easy for anybody to create their account on binance and then we go so let's go here i have some money here as you can see so i'll just click on this place where i have the profile let me just click on on that and you'll be seeing it so i'm on this one you'll be seeing payment methods over here so payment methods let me just click on that and you can see there are several ones over here. so p2p settings p2p payment methods or whatever so let me just click on this one this is it. this is what we'll be using so payment methods i'll just click on that and they are telling us that it has been added already but i'll just click on that so that i'll add any one of them that i want to use so here it is over here this is my number and this is the thing that we have to take care of you have to pay more attention over here so if i want to add any new one i can just click on this one and i'll say add a payment account and i'll just go to this one if it's mobile money or anything i can just enter it over here so if it's mobile money i can just click on that and i'll enter the mobile number that i need to use to link this account so i'll just enter the number over here and this is the name so what you need to take care of or you need to pay attention to is that the name that is registered on the binance app over here should be the one that you have used to register your account with mobile money on your own sim card i don't know if you guys understand this so or the name that you have used to register on binance should be the one that is reflecting on mobile money because it's already here this is the name that we have used to register on this application over here and then they are telling us that the number over here where you'll be able to send and receive your money should be the one that is over here so as for me i had a problem and the problem is that when i was registering this account i used somebody's details and that's to just say that the number over here let me just go back let me just go back uh, from there and then let me just show you what i want so yeah it is over here this this number is my own but the name over here is the one that they have used to register on this application but the number is different i don't have that name corresponding with the number over here so what i do all the time is that anytime i want to sell my coin or i want to buy from anybody when i input my details you know when you are buying coin from anybody you have to enter your mobile number with the person you just send it to the person so that they'll be able to remove the money from your account where you have to just allow cash out so that they can send the money to so when i am sending the number to the person i make sure to send the name as well so i'll just enter this number over here i'll send it to the person and i'll send the number that is over there so that when the person is about to take the money from your account when they see this one or this one over here they will not panic because they have already seen the one that you have sent to them which is the correct one and then they will send the money to so that's it if your number over here which is used to register your account on binance is not the same as the one that is registered with the number that you have used the name is not registered with the mobile money or it's not the same thing then make sure to be able to make that clearer to the person that you are buying the coin from and you'll be super cool with it. so anything that you need to do over here is just add your account so you just click on add a payment method and the number over here you can select whether it's mtn or if you're in nigeria any payment method that's okay for you that's the one that you use and if it's mobile money too you can use so let me 
me just go back from here and we see we have mobile money with this mt mobile money and then we have etel a time mobile top up over here and with mobile money if you want to use your bank so you can just enter bank over here this bank and you have several banks over here which you can use and the one that works best for you so that's what we'll be doing over here anyone that you want to use you just go ahead and do that and then you'll be super cool with this so that's it that is how to add your payment method so that anytime you want to pay on this application what you want to buy any coin you will just send the money to this application without any extra problem so that's it if you are new to my channel make sure to like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and then you turn on the notifications but so that anytime i upload again it will come to you first Shalom.